What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Trinity back with another video. And I'm saying today we are reacting to a UDY episode or video. You know what I'm saying? Whatever the fuck you want to call it, you feel me? Um, today is Will Disabled Millionaire Steal His Girlfriend. Let's do it. There he is right here. Here we go. What's up, bro? Ready for this? Yes, Camera's already rolling and everything. This is the homie Kai. He wants to find out if his girlfriend is truly loyal to him or not, so today we're placing her to the test. Hopefully she passes. I, you know, you never know, though. In the yeah. industry, though, you know, anybody can fold at any time. You can I can't lie. A disabled millionaire is crazy. I'm not going to cap. Like, that's basically just a nigga tricking. You know what I'm saying? You're not getting no love, nothing. You're getting a trick. You know what I'm saying? The nigga's disabled. The nigga got, uh, what's the shit, uh, FDR got? Franklin, Franklin D. Roosevelt. Uh, I don't fucking know. They'll do it. But too much trust for somebody. Kai and his girlfriends both work in the music industry. They both make music, but his girlfriend also does some modeling. We decided to use that to get her to this multi-million dollar home in Hollywood Hills. He was going to be arriving here in about an hour. She thinks she's coming over for a photo shoot, but in reality, she is coming here to so the ass. And test her loyalty. With Kai's help, Doggy we had our DYSA to contact her earlier that week for a modeling gig. After learning all the details, she eventually agreed to show up. You think that your girlfriend is going to bust the Bobby Alcock <laughs> and trade you? For the money, riches, and fame. But you never know. You gotta have a little doubt in you. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Kiera. Hello. Hey, what's up, Kiera? This is Isaiah. You might give me a brownie or something. I don't know. Hey, I was just calling to see if you're on time for the modeling shoot. Of course, definitely. I'm on my way. I'm definitely gonna be there. Traffic's cool. Nothing's going crazy on the road. So far, so good. Sounds good. I'm excited to meet you. Alright, see you soon. Bye. Got her in the bag. <laughs> 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 Saying excited. I ain't gonna count. That's first red flag. Saying you excited to meet another nigga. And you got a nigga? First flag. We're supposed to be rooting for him. <laughs> sound a little excited. You know? Now no. I'm saying, bro, the fuck is you excited yeah. for, she bro? Excited. She got the you handle the business and you please. You know? We are paying her a lot. Kira believes that she's getting paid five hundred dollars to come out of Isaiah's clothing line. Mm -hmm. Well, fake clothing line. In reality, yes, we just does. got these shirts from Amazon. <laughs> she doesn't know that though, and that's all that matters. We just needed to get yeah, her here sure. so that Isaiah could ask her on a date. Whoa. Not only does she have to turn down somebody who has money, she has to turn down a hurt dog, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> As Kira models the shirts and when Isaiah makes his move, Dee will be upstairs watching and listening in thanks to our live feed and our fancy Let's new do it. cameras. <laughs> Fuck him high for this shit, man. Look at that, yeah. You get all the angles on it. So with that, we were now ready for phase one of our tests. All that was left to do That's was wait for Kira to truck. arrive. Oh, man, look at that shit. Oh, my God. Why exactly you wanted to put your girl to the test? I just wanted to see, to be honest with you, like, all right, are you going to fold under pressure, somebody flashing money in front of your face? Like, it's kind of like, are you going to sell out, sell your soul kind of thing? Hey, man, let's hope I just she, she see how she going to do under pressure. I've come to notice a grim reality. Almost everyone nowadays is trying to get into the entertainment industry, and some people will do whatever they got to do to yeah. get ahead, even if that means cheating on their partner. It's sad, but that's what happens when you're surrounded by a culture of superficiality, materialism, and the relentless pursuit of wealth and fame. Hopefully, Kira can prove that she isn't like that, though. Oh, he got the fireplace going. He, uh, he's, he's, fireplace he's, going. he set the mood right. Okay. <laughs> All right, we're going to see. Nigga setting the mood for your whole nigga. Hello. He's getting crazy. Coffee. Just come up to the big door that looks like a puzzle. Come through the gate, and then I'll meet you at the door. I oh, think that's it. Okay. These windows are tinted, but, like, I don't know how tinted. <laughs> And Good welcome time. to my humble abode. Hey, Hi. Isaiah. Hi, Kira. Nice to finally meet you. Yeah. Thanks so much for having me. Thank you for coming. Yeah. Your eyes are beautiful, by the way. Oh, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> All right, we're good. And now I just wait here for my... Saying thank you. I ain't gonna say that's a red flag. We're gonna put it like yellow. And then a complete red flag. You know what I'm saying? to come in feel free to set your stuff down I'm gonna anywhere. stop pausing because this bitch 20 some minutes long yeah. <laughs> kira had arrived to isaiah's supposed home he capitalizes and shows it off a bit my favorite part about the whole thing is this tree though during the spring 
is Sprouts' sleeves. And then he shows her his clothing line, which consists of one basic simple design. This is on purpose and will come in handy later. If a fish wanted to be a shark, who's telling it it can't actually be a shark? <laughs> what the yeah, fuck? my uh, whole brand is called Everlasting Fantasy. Everlasting. I know it's far fetched, but I kind of want to have like a fashion runway in Paris. Like I'm trying to make it yeah, big. If I have the money, might as well do it. Right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> right now it's just the t-shirts. Cool. You want to go sit down? Great. We got her here. That's like probably the hardest step right there. So where are you from? Before sending in Elias, Sacramento. we wanted to give Isaiah a chance to get to know Kira. The goal was to get comfortable with her and start flexing his Bro, money. Did he just turn on the fuck? No, I moved out here when I got the house. I'm originally from Wisconsin. Yeah. I worked Imagine in a factory being from Wisconsin, in Wisconsin, bro. What's and, out there? Uh, one of the machines malfunctioned, so. <laughs> yeah, I was trying to lift something up, and then the whole thing came down on my leg. Wow. They put three screws in my ankle right here, and now I gotta roll around with this little thing. But they ended up giving me $8 million. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> End of the day, it's not that bad. I got money, I got a house. Hey y'all, uh, a quick little lesson, you feel me, um, for the younger generation and shit. When you get money, use that money to make more money, you feel me? And use that money to make more money, and then you'll forever have money, you know what I'm saying? Invest. Yeah. Wow. Save. Save and invest. It's a little lonely, though, sometimes. Sometimes I wish I had someone to share it with, but your eyes, I just, I'm sorry. Oh, thank you. <laughs> They are. Yeah, they come Okay, red flag now. Because she's saying no, thank you. You feel me? Red flag. Eyes for sure. You mind if I sit down? It's the, this oh, little thing okay. is a little. Yeah. Are you close to the parents? <laughs> Tell me this little house. Isaiah takes a seat next to Kira and continues making small talk. The two were honestly hitting it off, but we had to keep things moving. Like they, they is hitting it off. I can't even get the whole game to Go ahead and make your entrance. Over. Finally, our time. Your nails are us. Really nice as well. Yeah. Any of the rings mean anything? No, I have a lot of rings. Introducing Amazon Shipping, a new package delivery service now available for Amazon selling partners. Yeah. You can come in. My guy. Oh, how's it going? It's going good. You know, I realized I knocked. I was like, wait, how is he going to get to the door? <laughs> Hello, Elias. This is nice yeah. to meet you. Nice to meet you. Yeah, how's it going? Some doing good? Right now. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? The best I can. Yeah. Ready to shoot or? Um, she had a question about wardrobe. Yeah. Yeah, can I see what you have? Elias pretends to be a good photographer and chooses out what pants Kira should wear. Isaiah then hands her the shirt that she'll be modeling and directs her own where to change. How did I sound? I sound good. Hey, bro, you're killing it. <laughs> <laughs> I did just look these. Is it legit? Is it yeah, legit? It look legit. It's like, I got like a real photo. She's going, yeah. Uh, cool. Yeah, I think it looks good. What do you think? Ooh, yeah. that, uh, huh? I don't think that looks good at all. Huh? I'm joking. You look beautiful. Oh. <laughs> you look amazing. Yes, no. Wouldn't want you to change a bit. I'll just be uh, rolling around in here. It was Kira, right? Kira. Kira, kind of cool. Set up like, yeah, right there. Got the house in the background, you know? What did you think it's so far? I think it's cool. I know she, she's house taking in the background compliments. House is crazy. You know? mm -hmm. Well, we ain't doing too much. Yeah. I'm not right with it. While the last took some pretty nice photos outside, I want to go make sure that our decoy wasn't too much made. So, in case you guys are wondering, this right over here ah! is real. As you can see, he is in a ton of pain. Ah! Just kidding. Our decoy is pretending to have gotten hurt at work because this is how he got rich and he was able to afford this house. This is something I always wanted to do. And with the setup... Bro, imagine you getting hurt and boom, you're a fucking millionaire. Man... I probably I'd never get hurt again, you feel me? But to get them meals, to get them M's. Money, I finally get to do it. Start my own clothing brand. You know, like sometimes I feel like a goldfish and I wish I could be a shark, you know? 
we were worried because the boot only fits up to a size 12, but Isaiah's got a size 15. Honestly, it feels kind of comfortable. Like, I would wear this just because... If you ever get seriously hurt or in an accident, your case could actually be worth millions. Unfortunately, though, many people never file a claim or end up getting lowballed by insurance companies. Don't be one of those people. Be like Isaiah. I got hurt, and I said, run me my money. Come on. <laughs> Man, these are good. I hope you like these. If you ever get seriously hurt or in an accident, Morgan & Morgan will fight to get their clients the money that they deserve. Their lawyers... I'm just kidding. <laughs> it's hard for they slick, man. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, definitely reach out to him. Yeah. No, I feel you, yeah. I bet she just told him, oh my god, I love your hair. <laughs> One day we'll promote the lies to decoy, but for now this he makes nigga. a great photographer. This nigga knows I mean, the photos that this guy took actually came out really good. The only thing I will say though is why the hell did this man make her model in leggings? Not just any leggings though. I'm pretty sure these are the leggings that she literally walked in with. He didn't even make her change. They just gave her a shirt. I can only imagine what Kira was thinking. Like, damn, I brought other clothes and these guys make me wear what I came in? Fuck Luckily, it. she didn't get suspicious of anything and it all came off realistic. But still, Fuck next it. time I last try a little harder because you could cost us the freaking test. Oh, 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 I think the last is bringing that guy. What's up, what's up? what's up? Dude, she's killing it, man. <laughs> I can't Wait a minute. I, uh, I didn't think that was possible. She looks more beautiful than when she came in. That's crazy. Oh, wow. <laughs> Did you guys hear that? Corny that compliment was so smooth it even had Elias blushing. <laughs> Let me just set up the... <laughs> Fight real quick, and then, uh, yeah, we'll shoot in here real quick. How long have you been modeling, by the way? So if she passes this test, do you plan on going downstairs and telling her that it was a test, or do you plan on not telling her at all? I wouldn't tell her. Honestly, if she being loyal and upfront and, and staying true, then I, I should be true, too. Okay. okay. So. Cool. All right, so I'm thinking maybe, like, I'll just get you on the couch. And so with that, Elias begins the second half of this photo shoot. And once again, he does an incredible job with the photos. Cool. Um, let's get you on that chair. This one, like, just imagine you're like a boss. You're just about to fire all your employees right now. And you don't give a f <laughs> What? Actually, she had those leggings outside, right? Yeah, you want her to switch? You think it'd be crazy yeah, if we switched? Yeah. No, yeah, let's do it. Yeah. Looking for the perfect remote job? Find your next remote role at Re Isaiah wanted a different look, so he asked for an outfit change. Elias chose out another set of bottoms, which were also black, and Isaiah, for some <laughs> reason, gave her a larger shirt. Damn, he gave her a men's large. It's about to be a dress on it. <laughs> Not much of a different look, if you ask me, but that's okay. You see, this outfit change was simply a diversion. Okay, I'm out. Yeah, I gotta go to my car. <laughs> It was time for Elias to exit the scene under the guise that he ran out of space on his memory card and had to get one from his car. You did a good job, sir. Thank you, thank you. I told Dee that it really sounded like she was into you. So we were thinking about making you the decoy instead. I mean, I could have slid in. She was flirting. She better not have. <laughs> flirting out there. <laughs> I mean, I could have glass for a number later if you really wanted oh, to. Oh, relax, relax, relax. <laughs> I could schedule another photo shoot. Uh, he laughing and shit, bro. Y'all all getting took, bro. What's so, what, what's so fucking funny, nigga? You know what I'm saying? Like, I would have hit him in this shit. <laughs> all right, now. I'm going to be there, too, though. <laughs> right with you. <laughs> with the last now out of the scene, this was it. As soon as Kira was out of the restroom, Isaiah was pretty much free to make his move. Yeah, you look beautiful. Um, the photographer, he left something in his car. Yeah, uh, he said he forgot, like, an SD card or something like that. We just hang out until he gets back. Thank you. Right, here we go. Gotta listen in, okay? So you said you've been modeling it. for two years? Is modeling, like, what you, like, want to, like, pursue for a long-time career, or is it just something you're doing right now? I would love to have this in the career for as long as possible. Yeah. Have you? My bad. Go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, I, don't know, I guess. I guess. Like at some point in time, I'd love to like have some kind of career where I can, like help people. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm really like I'm a big animal person. That's amazing. I love yeah. animals. Not too, only is she beautiful, but she's for the people <laughs> and the animals. Dogs, this is crazy. Animals, yeah. <laughs> Going for the animals and people. Honestly, I'm just I'm open to not knowing what I want my destiny to be. Yeah. I want to travel and I want to see what problems there are around 
and see what I can do. I grew up not having money. And now that I have money, I feel like I can do something with it, you know? Yeah. So have you worked with like any bigger brands that I don't know, like Fashion Nova or Sheen or anything like that? Actually, yeah, I did a few months ago. Oh, I worked a lot with like... Yeah, the blur the shit out. 100%. Remember how I said there was a reason why Isaiah's clothing line designs were so simple? Well, that's because he needs someone else on his team who truly understands fashion. And he's going to be using that to make his move. You ever think about mm, like doing stuff behind the scenes of modeling? Like modeling, but like business side of it? Or... Um, like, be, <laughs> I, like, what do you mean? Like, be, I don't know, but like more hands-on. Just because I'm doing it all by myself. I only have so much imagination. And I do want to expand. I want to get into women's clothing. I want to do more fashion. And I would, one, love to pick your brain. And two, you are absolutely gorgeous. So like, <laughs> if you were my the face of my brand, I feel like it would help a lot. If, if you're down with yeah, it. Yeah, no, that's like, that sounds like an incredible opportunity. Um, would it be like, like primarily like modeling the clothing or? So it would be modeling clothing, but yeah. it would be past that as well. So like um, helping with the creative design of the clothing, speaking out for the clothing, maybe helping me with the social media, just to target more of the women audience. I mean, I just want to be honest with you. Like I don't, like I've never really done like that side of things before. Yeah. So, you know, I, I'm learning right now too, so we just learn together. If you want, we can talk more about it over dinner. Yeah. yeah that's bro, these women ain't shit, bro. Is it gonna be a part two with this? Ah, uh, damn, I don't really know. But bitches ain't shit, bro. That sounds incredible. I would, yeah, I'd love to There's a seven tonight. Work? Oh, um. Yeah, actually, I. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm free. Awesome. Jesus. And she fucking stuttering, bro. Oh my god. Fuck. Okay. Yeah, tonight should be good. I'll probably be like hungry after. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So, Kira has agreed to dinner, but I wouldn't call this the end of the road. Isaiah did phrase this as more of a business opportunity, which does give us a path for a phase two. We can have them go to dinner, and then Isaiah could make his official move there. Of course, that's only if Kai wants to keep this going. We can get some food, we can talk. But if he keep it going, and if he confront them at the dinner, man. And then maybe after we can get some drinks, hang out, get to know each other a little more. What's your favorite drink? Oh, I feel like she was finna say that she had a boyfriend. You feel me? But then she just started thinking about money, opportunity, clout. You know what I'm saying? You hey girl. Yeah. Well, let's do a let's do a warm vibe. Let's do let's do. We can go out. We can get some whiskey. Um, I know a really cool spot. Or we can just come back, kick it here. I got. Connect four. Um, you know, just get to know each other a little bit. Or maybe I think we should just like maybe just stick with um dinner. Okay, so well, let's go back. Hold on, wait. Okay, so she said stick with the dinner. You feel me? Which is kind of smart, cause like if he if they go back to the crib, then it sounds like you know what I'm saying he's just trying to hit. But it still sounds like she going though. You feel me? You don't like drinking. I just feel like um, I guess I I feel like getting drinks and like going out after that is just kind of a different vibe. And what do you mean by that? I mean, it's like, huh. I, don't, I don't know, I feel like um, it just, it's, it feels like the intention of that is like, more of like a hook up oh. versus like a friendship, <laughs> business partner. Okay, yeah. I don't, I don't see it like that. 
I feel like we can go out, we can have some drinks, we can have a little bit of fun, get to know each other, and we don't have to necessarily. Okay, it's time for this nigga to cook. Let's see if you're gonna cook. Hook up, cause we're just doing it as friends, right? Yeah, I mean. Just to get to know each other. Yeah, I just um, like I, I have a, I, I do have a boyfriend. Yeah. Another red flag. Why the fuck are you hesitating to say that you got a boyfriend, bro? Man. You go. Right, you up. That's me. You feel me? <laughs> Let's see if she continues to stick to it, though. It's yeah. not I you. personally don't Baby. think that there's anything wrong with it. Okay. I think we <laughs> can. <laughs> I think we could just. It's just a couple drinks as like friends. Imagine, as. Like, if you have a girlfriend, like if she went and did, did that. Yeah. You, know? you want to know the truth? It wouldn't really matter that much. <laughs> but that's just me. Um, we yeah, can go out. You know, I just want to like respect. Okay. Yeah. I just don't really see it as like a bad thing. Yeah, I think I just don't understand. Okay. Oh, Dinner is still exactly. boundaries, bro. I don't want to sound like a like oh, crossing I'm boundaries. I'm trying my best not to. No, I, I would love to like talk business with you. I mean, it sounds like an awesome opportunity, and you know, I'm I'm totally open to like dinner or like mm -hmm. lunch or kind of like got in a coffee. Just like I want to. Yeah, I can respect that. Mm -hmm. He's a lucky guy. <laughs> She's staying true. And you were worried. I don't over think here. it's over you can, though. You can never be it's too not sure, man. You never know. <laughs> what a twist. Kira could clearly sense that Isaiah was into her, and rather than putting up with it, she shut that down. She nipped it in the butt before placing herself in a questionable predicament. Anybody can take get their girl taken. Any given day. I don't care how cool you think you are. You're always going to be somebody better, but it's a do you want to stay true to who you yeah, are. Exactly. Rather, mindset is everything. That's actually true, bro. Your girl is single for the right nigga. You feel me? No cap. It might be the nigga her dreams. Just walk in the fucking room. Boom. Your bitch gone. No cap. This happens just like that. <laughs> now with that girl, corny man, goldfish. <laughs> thinking it's a shark. Yeah, it's a big difference. It's like cottage, though. You know, you gotta feel like a shark sometimes. You feel like it, but then you get in the real world. You're not no shark, man. You're not even a dolphin. You know what I mean? Now I'm just gonna say it because I know some of you are thinking it. I feel like if Isaiah hadn't pushed it and just stuck to the dinner, we could have moved on to a phase two. For a second, I thought we had a phase two there, bro. Not that I wanted one. Hey. I'm just saying. He definitely he wanted one. The dinner, I was like, ah, he was kind of flirting. He accepted the dinner, but she was solid. She's solid. Yeah. Maybe the outcome would have been different with the dinner involved, but I'm willing to bet that Kira would have still brought up her boyfriend and established her boundaries. I asked her this earlier. Do you want to go downstairs and tell her this was the test? Or do you want to play this entire thing off as if it were real? Because when I can go back downstairs, continue the photo shoot, we will pay her for being here. Uh -huh. And that's that. I think I think we should go down there. I think we should go down there. Mm -hmm. she, she was true to me, like I said, so I got to be true to her. Okay, cool. She, she can't stay mad at me for too long. <laughs> Every lunch for the past two months, I've been eating Huel Instant Milk Cups, and it's changed the game for me. It's as that. easy as in... Hey, what's up, love? What are you... So look, I gotta come clean to you about some. Um, I set all this up. This was a loyalty test. I know it sounds crazy. Um, I had the guys help me here. Um, I just wanted to see how you act if you were fold under pressure, like you know what I'm saying? So they helped me out to set it up. But you passed the test, and I know it's stupid. <laughs> So, so to kind of explain what he's saying, this entire thing is basically just a test, like none of it is real. So this home is actually a rental. Isaiah doesn't really live here. Isaiah's foot is actually not hurt. He's just pretending that it is. And the shirt you're wearing is not for his clothing line. He actually doesn't have one. <laughs> so. We're still going to pay you for your time and for being here and all that stuff, so you'll still get paid for that, but the model and shoot essentially was not real. We literally just made this entire scenario hey, up nice just to see if you would still. go on a date with Isaiah or not. And you didn't. You turned him down. You 
you said no. I had no doubts, but you know, I just had had to make sure. And I know you're probably like hot right now, but like. Sometimes you just gotta see, you know what I'm saying? So I, she when I'm at the studio, you be texting me, asking who are there and everything. And stuff. That's the thing, like. She not fucking with him. <laughs> uh, look. Yeah, dude, we could shut off the cameras and all that stuff. You guys can talk out front. You guys can talk out back. Like, you guys can literally, like, take your space, take your time. Dude, we, we won't follow you guys. Cool. Or right, you guys. Come on, let's, let's chat real quick. Uh -huh. Like, without the cameras, so... They, 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 gonna... it's, it's cool. We... Okay. You still got a mic on. Look, I'm already knowing how you about to act. Chill, like... <laughs> I don't know if I should be looking or not. Should we give them a pass? You don't understand how embarrassing this is. They don't even know you. These people don't know you. <laughs> That's true. If you it's just, didn't trust me, you should have talked to me. I do trust you. Don't even do that. Don't even. Don't start don't. that. I don't trust you or nothing like that. I do trust you. Uh -huh. Look. Do you understand that? Like, I came here thinking I was working a job. And you're still getting paid for it. So what's the issue? I just had to see. That's um, it. I'm, 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 All right. <laughs> I'm Told you I'm fucking with it. <laughs> Oh, you don't have yeah. to change. You can feel free to keep the shirt. I don't think I want it, so... <laughs> She's a little hot right now. I'm going to take her. She loves food. I'm going to get her some sushi. She's going to be cool later. You know <laughs> don't, don't stress it. Yo, thanks. I appreciate everybody. You know what I'm saying? Um, Sergio, thanks for it again. Hey, yeah, man. Hopefully, this relationship's still... great, man. You feel me? Um, Y'all boys like, comment, subscribe on this. You know what I'm saying? And I'm out. You did.